Hey guys, I hope you are doing absolutely awesome. So today I'm going to show you how long does my Rockstrix G15 takes to render out a 4K video of 30 seconds in Adobe After Effects. So I have already done a video showing how long does this G15 takes to render a 4K video in Premiere Pro. If you want to check that video, just click here. So After Effects is a lot more demanding on this laptop than Premiere Pro because in After Effects we are creating the video from the hardware of this laptop. But in Premiere Pro we are just editing the video which has already been captured by a smartphone or a video camera. So I'm hoping that this project is going to be a lot more taxing on this G15 and it's going to show us what are the capabilities of this laptop. So if you are planning to buy this laptop, just click here to see my detailed pros and cons of this G15. So let's see how long does this G15 takes. So guys, I have already opened my Adobe After Effects screen. So let's start a new project and let me make a new composition. This should be 4K. So 3840 by 2160. And I need to make it 30 seconds long. So let's change this duration to 30 seconds. Uh, resolution full this color black okay uh, I'm going to create a new composition but first check this that I have set my color to 16 bits per channel this is a very high setting compared to your normal 8 bits per channel let's create a new composition and the height of this composition should be 18,000 because I'm going to create a time vortex as we have seen in the movie Doctor Who. Deep space anyway. So this is also 30 seconds and the color is black. Now I'm going to create a new solid and this solid should be called just a black solid one. It's okay and it should be of the same comp size so let's click okay. So I won't bother you with all this stuff so I'll just speed this video up. So I'm going to use a CC cylinder for the time vortex. So now you see this is a cylinder and we'll change this rotation to minus 90 and you'll see in a second this changes to a time vortex. Here it is. This is a time vortex but this is not what we want. I'm going to do more steps so I'll just speed it up. So this is the basics of our tunnel. Uh, this is also called a wormhole or a time vortex. So this is completely black and white. Now I need to put some colors in this to add some life. So let me duplicate this layer and I'll call this time vortex color. Again, I'll just speed this video up. So this is our time vortex and it's complete now. So I'll just export this using my media encoder. So export add to Adobe media encoder queue. So is it will open the media encoder. And one more thing I have just used this turbo mode to get the best performance. Uh, it should show in a second here. Here it is. So let me change these settings. Use maximum render quality and render at maximum depth. Uh, we don't need to change uh, this bitrate, it's all okay. Now effects, I'm going to put a timestamp. Here it is, time code overlay. Uh, let's name this as vortex test hit save and let's click ok now I'm going to render this out
So guys, this laptop took about 2 hours and 3 minutes to render a 4K video of 30 seconds in After Effects. That is quite a long time. So the conclusion is, if your work includes building videos in After Effects, then don't use this laptop. You should go for a desktop with the same specs and that will perform much better than this laptop. But if you are someone who wants to just uh, place some effects above a video in After Effects, then you can easily use this laptop and this laptop can handle those sort of tasks. But if you want to create videos in After Effects from this laptop, then it's going to take a lot. So it all comes down to what you want from this laptop. So if you want to see how does a rendered video looks, then here it is. So that was it guys, I hope this video was helpful and please let me know in the comments below what would you like to see in the next videos. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.